Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will talk about grinding papers, how to change them and most of all why. Some tools that you will need for this are clearly your uh, new papers, uh, one fine and one coarse, uh, your special uh, glue, you need to purchase some kind of a special glue, this is the fine gear model, yeah, anyone's got their own. Um, and then your plant plate looks something like this. Comes together with this kind of bolt and nut in order to clasp the things together. As you can see, there's quite a lot of grime stuck to the plates, like here and here and here, for example. There are ways to get rid of this, um, and I might make a video about it sometime in the future. But let's just assume that you want to change your, your papers outright. Another thing you can look at here is the presence of these bubbles. If you push on them, it goes. you can see these air bubbles. This is pretty dangerous while sharpening. You don't want it to, to be like that. So whenever there are bubbles, you should change your papers or at least to do the whole uh, process again. Um, so, uh, first you remove the paper, simply by lifting at the edge, like so, there you go, <laughs> that's one of them, and the second one, should be pretty easy to remove them. And as you see, there's quite a lot of this glue left stuck here. Once you have removed the papers, you need to remove the old glue. Um, you can do it very simply with your thumb. You start by the edge and you just roll the glue up and it should come up just like this. It takes quite a bit of time, but you have to make sure that it's very clean all over because if it's not clean, when you put the new layer, is not gonna attach properly and you're going to have bubbles. Now I've cleaned uh, my discs of all the glue and uh, I want to make sure that there are no bits of glue stuck anywhere left on the discs. So I double check absolutely everywhere. You can also wash the, the discs with water, for example, a little bit of water should do the trick. And there you go, now we're ready to go, like remove this stuff like this. And now I take my little glue. One very important thing to think about glue is it's very, very sensible, uh, sensitive to cold temperatures. I learned this myself because I forgot them in my car and they froze like two, twice. So I keep this in my bedroom. <laughs> so what you, do, what you do in order to, to glue the paper to the, to the disc is uh, you just go into kind of a spiral pattern like this use as much glue as necessary the glue is expensive but it's very important to have it correctly glued there you go so once i've done this i take a little bit of paper or cardboard and I just spread the glue out all over the disc.
then I simply put a new paper on top of it, make sure that the hole is correctly aligned. And uh, in order to do that, I generally just put this guy in. second one and uh, the paper as well. I'm going to take my clasp plate right there, washer and then the top one. There you go. Bolt. be afraid to use quite a lot of tension because you want the discs to be stuck properly and no air to be present anywhere on the disc. Air and a loose disc at the speed at which the machine spins is very bad combination. I don't need to tell you that. There you go. Now, once this is done, you need to wait 24 hours. But, since I am on YouTube, I can do this. Here we are again. Now it's the day after, and I can remove this. Well, and check out how the discs are going. bubbles. There are no bubbles. Perfect. Ready to go. Here is how you change the papers for your disc. Make sure you do not have any bubbles under. Again, if you use the correct glue, take care that it doesn't freeze. Thanks for now. Have a nice day.